world leaders, celebrities, and other important people often hire security to help keep them safe and protected. As we'll see in today's video, though, some security details are larger than others. Here are the top 15 most secured people in the world. Number 15. Kim Jong-un Kim Jong-un is without a doubt a controversial figure, but he's got a convoy with him just about wherever he goes and is worth a mention on this list nonetheless especially considering his motorcade is the most unique. And while it's highly unlikely that anyone would ever make an attempt on the leader of North Korea, he's still got to have security. Kim Jong-un's black limousine sports the nation's flag and allegedly even houses a private toilet. But that's not what makes the convoy so unique. He's surrounded by what's known as the main office of adjutants, men in black suits in great shape who jog around the limo. Yep, they've been handpicked by the leader not just for their fitness, but for their marksmanship, martial arts, skills, and yes, even looks. Recruits tend to come from North Korean families, and they will run background checks that go two families back on the young hopefuls. In the end, there are about two to three hundred members of the main office of adjutants, but only twelve get to act as human shields in his unorthodox convoy. Number 14. Elon Musk Easily one of the most eccentric billionaires in history, Elon Musk is another VIP who may have a hard time going to the corner store for some milk in peace. The Tesla CEO doesn't disclose how much money he spends annually on security costs, but for someone who's created and sold flamethrowers to the public, there's no way his convoy isn't just as high-tech. But Musk doesn't need a convoy of limousines because the cars that he and his company produce are seriously next level when it comes to safety and durability. Firstly, he's got his 50-foot watchtower outside of the Boring Company, and the entire facility has a mobile-controlled security system. If anyone sees anything suspicious, the place can be secured in a matter of minutes, maybe even by some guys with flamethrowers. That'd be cool. Elon Musk's Tesla cars also have a GPS tracking device installed that Tesla has full access to, so in the event that Musk is taken while in one of his cars, his people will know where he is at all times and be ready to intercept. But the cars also come with a remote disabling system that will literally stop the car in its tracks. He's also been seen about town in his cyber truck with an exterior shell that is allegedly able to withstand high-impact car crashes and is totally bulletproof with its armored glass. Nothing is cooler or safer than a convoy of Tesla cars. Number 13. Vladimir Putin Even though he may have fewer vehicles in his convoy, Vladimir Putin's motorcade is one of the more expensive ones. But just because there aren't as many cars accompanying him doesn't mean it's any less impressive. Putin rides around in a custom-built automobile, the Aura Senat. It was designed specifically for the president by the engineering teams at Porsche and Central Scientific Research Automobile and Automotive Engines Institute, or NAMI for short. The Aura Senate weighs in at a whopping six tons, and it's a crazy 23 feet long. There's plenty of room for Putin, his friends, colleagues, and of course, personal bodyguards, and the Russian Secret Service, of course. The car is equipped with an extensive amount of security features, which unfortunately for the rest of us, the Russian government keeps a tightly guarded secret. The Senat is powered by a 4.4-liter V8 engine and can even serve as an off-road vehicle if the need arises. It costs about 10 million bucks. You can get a mansion for that much. Putin's convoy also consists of three Mercedes G-Classes, which is a luxury SUV that can handle any type of terrain and has a top speed of 137 miles per hour. It is the perfect car for a presidential convoy, and each vehicle on its own cost over $140,000. Finally, there's the police detail of just six motorcycles to clear the roads and monitor the crowds. It may not be the most elaborate convoy in the world, but the cars are definitely fit enough for a Fast and the Furious cameo. Number 12. Kim Kardashian Back in 2016, Kim Kardashian had a pretty eye-opening and life-threatening experience when she was robbed at gunpoint in her Paris hotel. The perpetrator tied her up and went through all of her personal belongings that she brought with her on the trip, including about $10 million worth of jewelry. So it makes sense that after the incident, Kardashian upped her security. A lot. Because who wouldn't be shaken up after an experience like that? When she finally made it back to the United States in one piece, she was accompanied by a convoy of cars that would almost make a head of state jealous. 
She was accompanied by dozens of guards and a convoy of eight intimidating black SUVs, and I'm sure that whoever was inside of it is not to be trifled with. That includes her head bodyguard, Pascal Duvier, who always stands right next to his boss. Duvier is built like an 80s wrestler, and if you mess with that convoy, he's the first one you'll have to answer to. Number 11. Mukesh Ambani Billionaire businessman Mukesh Ambani is the richest person not only in his country of India, but in all of Asia, so there's no doubt that everyone wants a piece of him when he steps outside. Obviously, someone with that much money owns plenty of fancy cars, but in this case, each and every one is bulletproof. That includes his Bentley, Mercedes-Benz S600 Guard, and BMW X5. But this is another person who can't roam the streets safely like the rest of us. That's why he never leaves home without his own personal convoy. Included in that is a new white Range Rover, Rogue, complete with police stickers and strobe lights on top, so the authorities are with him just about wherever he goes. And of course, a Range Rover's police lights are always on to clear the road, so Ambani can drive in peace. More cars of the convoy are also the Ford Endeavor, Mahindra Scorpio, a Toyota Fortuner, as well as a Honda CRV. Every car in Ambani's convoy is painted a bright and clean white. It used to be that Mukesh's security detail would use their own cars, but it looks like he would rather they don't trade safety, security, and all-around looking fly for cost-effective vehicles. Number 10. Pope Francis People are always going to love the Pope. It's just a fact of life, so it would make sense that he's found his way onto this list. Yes, Pope Francis is the Bishop of Rome and the head of the Catholic Church, but he could also be considered a world leader as well, seeing as how the Vatican functions like its own small country. And when he goes outside to bless his holy masses, not even the angels are enough to protect him. He needs some real-life help. For starters, Vatican City is one of the most armored cities in the world, but their first line of defense, should things get hairy, is the Pontifical Swiss Guard, a group of armed forces and honor guards overseen by none other than the Holy See. And while the Swiss Guard is never going to invade a country, you can think of them as the Pope's personal army, because they are armed and very, very dangerous. But they're nothing new. The Guard's history reaches back to the year 1506, when they were put together under the order of Pope Julius II, making them one of the oldest operating military units in history. They've undergone a lot of change, having started out as armor-clad men wielding spears, but today they're made up of some of the Swiss military's best and brightest. If you want to storm the Vatican and get to the Pope, then you're going to have to go through the Pontifical Swiss Guard first. And good luck with that. Number 9. Mark Zuckerberg One of the top 10 richest people in the world is none other than the founder of Facebook, Mark Zuckerberg. The man may have changed the world and the way we interact with each other, but he's also gained some notoriety over the years, which is why he needs perhaps more security than usual. The Facebook CEO spends about $20,000 a day on his private security detail, or over $7 million a year. That is pretty intense, but when he's going from point A to point B, there's no way he's doing it alone. Before the convoy even comes in, there's a root car, and then the sweepers to make sure the route is even safe enough for Zuckerberg to travel on. Then when everything's ready, he's pulling up, like many others, in a convoy of black SUVs, all with the windows tinted. No one watching from the sideline is going to know where the tech billionaire is sitting, and he has received an increasing number of serious threats over the years, and he's contracted a private company to make sure he's kept safe. There's even one famous story of an Ohio resident who received a strange phone call saying someone was coming to his home for dinner in a few days, but the security team needed to make sure that the home was clean and safe for his mystery guest. Cut to a few days later, and the infamous convoy of black SUVs pulled into his driveway, only for Mark Zuckerberg to get out, followed by his bodyguards. Talk about an entrance. Number 8. Queen Elizabeth It's good to be the queen, but that doesn't mean you can roam the streets by yourself. While her position may be more symbolic, Queen Elizabeth II of England is one of the most secure sovereign leaders in the world. For starters, she's got her Queen's Guard, who are incredibly hard to miss with their red coats and tall black furry hats that cover their eyes, giving them the impression of being a faceless man. And when you can't see someone's face, it makes them all the more intimidating. And those rifles they carry around, yeah, despite what you may have heard, they are very real, and they'll use them if they're forced to. And so, while the Queen has her famed Stoic Guards, her most important security team is the Royal Protection Squad, also known as the Storland York Elite Squad. These people are a little less ceremonial. They mean business. 
Originally formed in 1983, the elite squad is made of 185 of some of the military's best officers and trained by the Special Air Service. They provide the Queen with round-the-clock security, but to secure her even further, the Queen has special security guards who are with her at all times, and they even share specific secret messages with one another to alert her when danger may be present. Number 7. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle Don't assume Her Royal Highness is the only member of the royal family with their own security. Like them or not, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are one of the hottest and high-profile couples in the world. They may have technically renounced their royalty, but that doesn't mean they can't be kept safe at all times. At any given moment, there are about 1,000 people involved with their safety network, whether they're on a diplomatic trip or just popping into the corner store for milk. Security personnel are on it. But if that much detail goes into their everyday lives, just think about how much went into their wedding. Their royal wedding ran up a bill of about $45 million, with an extra million on top of that for their security, which not only included their private guardians, but for the queen as well. And no royal wedding is complete without undercover and plain clothes officers and snipers on the rooftops. And that doesn't even take into consideration the thousands of hours of vetting the wedding guests and searching the premises for triggers and bugs. What a wedding. Number 6. Xi Jinping now that we've had our fun, it's time to move into the more serious territory again. The president of China, Xi Jinping, has his own motorcade or convoy to keep him safe when he hits the road for major events and meetings with fellow heads of state. He may not be driving in a custom automobile like some other world leaders do, but it's still pretty pricey. First and foremost, the convoy is led by the state police, with their motorcycles, cars, vans leading the way as their sirens light up the streets. Dozens of police drive by to present the convoy of unmarked black cars, but only one flies the five-starred red flag or the national flag of the People's Republic of China. The police are riding their Haoju GW250J motorcycles, which are the Chinese equivalent of the BMW police bikes used in other countries. Each bike cost about 14 grand each. President Xi's car is the Hongqi L5, and it is the height of luxury when it comes to Chinese cars. In total, there are five on his convoy, adding up to a grand total of about $4 million. And that's not to mention the dozens of less flashy cars and vans carrying his security and cabinet, and even an ambulance just in case. Number 5. Donald Trump Even before his presidency, Donald Trump was one of the most sought-after billionaires in the world. When he's not living large in New York City, the man is managing his many businesses around the globe. Even during his initial presidential run, Donald Trump was hiring private security forces and intelligence teams to attend his rallies on top of the local police. He had former FBI agents, New York City police officers, and Army Navy veterans at his disposal since the 1990s, as well as his private bodyguard who would eventually go on to become his head of security. At every rally, book signing, you name it, his private forces were known for not only maintaining a tight perimeter, but happily getting in the face of any protesters. At the end of the day, Trump appreciates loyalty above all else, which is why having just any old security force hired by anyone but him just simply won't do it. When he finally did step into the US presidency, the budget for the Trump family security skyrocketed to $120 million. Number four, Jeff Bezos. When you're the CEO, or former CEO, of one of the biggest companies in history and one of the richest people on Earth, like it or not, you need security. And it certainly ain't coming cheap. Even without his convoys or security detail, Jeff Bezos had bulletproof glass windows installed in his Seattle office. The glass is so thick that the panels can even withstand fire from a military-grade rifle. After his phone was hacked, Bezos gave his head of security a blank check for the investigation. Even when Bezos was on a movie set in 2016, he was accompanied by almost a dozen bodyguards and pulled up in three limousines. He spends a reported 1.6 mil a year on private security. And if his office windows are bulletproof, then there's no doubt in anyone's mind that his limos are any less safe. Unfortunately, Bezos has reached the point in his life and career where the prospect of traveling anywhere alone is non-existent. And the same can be said for his current girlfriend, ex-wife, and their children. So the next time you see a convoy of unmarked limousines driving down the street, it could just be some kids going to their high school prom, or it could be the founder of Amazon. You never know. Number 3. Beyonce and Jay-Z The first family of hip-hop, and probably one of the world's most beloved and world-renowned power couples, obviously like to get around in style. 
But with so much of their lives made public and the dangers of both the paparazzi and fans, they need a little help. When they're walking around in public, they're flanked by plenty of big security guards that can only be described as personal bouncers. When they're on the road, they've got their own personal convoys. When their daughter, Blue Ivy, was born in hospital in Manhattan's Upper East Side, they were greeted at the side gate under cover of night by two black cars with fully tinted windows and a van to bring their baby home. But that wasn't all, because a line of black SUVs blocked street traffic for the new family so they could make a clean getaway. Then there's the convoy that drops off little Blue Ivy at school every day. Convoy is smaller this time around with two cars and three bodyguards, but not Beyonce or Jay-Z. That is, unless they're hiding out in the car. But needless to say, fellow parents and teachers aren't too thrilled about the near presidential convoy five mornings a week, but Blue Ivy's safety is all that matters. The family was even spirited away with a full police convoy of four bikes and two carriers when they arrived at the airport from a vacation to outmaneuver and outrun the paparazzi that waited for them. Number two, POTUS. The configuration of the President of the United States Security Team is boiled down to a science and generally consists of 40 to 50 vehicles at a time, in addition to the President's vehicle, and that's just when he's on the move. The motorcade alone includes their family, friends, staff members, and even members of the press. The VIPs travel in specially configured limousines, and most of the vehicles are armored and bulletproof. The convoy will also have a special Suburban armed with countermeasures in the event of an assassination attempt. Then there are the vehicles operated by a counter-assault team and, of course, the Secret Service agents. There's even a hazardous materials team on standby, and the police driving cars, vans, and motorcycles that drive ahead of 40-something car convoy to clear the path. Should things go awry, the convoy will split into two units, the first being Secure Package, which is heavily guarded by the Secret Service and local law enforcement, and all cars are driven by professional drivers who have been trained in evasive maneuvers. While I certainly hope that it never happens, it sounds like it could make for a solid action movie. Number one, Mohammed bin Salman. The Saudi royal family is the richest in the world and love to show off their absurd amount of money and power. And while having gold-plated toilets at home is awesome, it certainly comes at the price of safety. The Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia, Mohammed bin Salman, also holds multiple positions of political office and is known for having spent more than $20 billion on military equipment alone and has a tight grip on both the military and security. But aside from his highly skilled and highly paid personal security team, made up of both active service members and veterans alike, Salman also has his very own Tiger Squad. This team of experts isn't made up of actual tigers. Instead, it's made up of former military and intelligence agents who are at the whim of Salman. Not only are they there to protect him, riding in convoys made of armored vehicles, but they carry out any local operations he feels are necessary to maintain his political and royal status. Watch our binge-watching playlist if you'd like to watch all of our most popular top 15 videos. Grab a drink, grab a snack, and get ready to binge.